What? Yeah, 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 just keep it. Take it with you. Oh, my glasses. All right. Let's get this bike rolling. All right, hopefully... Move this out the way. Hopefully this kicks. Last time it wasn't kicking because I think it was hot, but I had enough time for it to relax. I don't know. For some reason, this one, after I ride it heavy and it dies, it, it struggles kicking for some reason. I got to figure out what the issue is. Fix this so that way we can get out of first gear. Oh my gosh, this thing is so annoying. All right, I got to fix this ASAP because this is really starting to annoy me. Plus, if I had it fixed, it'd be easier to do everything. All right. Now that it's working, let's get out of here. But I gotta let them know where we're going. I'll follow you guys. Just keep it with you. Alright guys, we finished up a successful fishing trip. Um, as you guys can see, we got some people with us. Josue ended up coming. The old roommate, he had the Apollo 007. He would ride with us a few times. But he moved out and his 007 is kind of broken. So he sold it to me for a Chipotle, guys. <clears throat> I think I might have said it in a video, but I was able to buy it back off of him for just the meal of Chipotle, which is like, what, less than $10. So, <sighs> so I was good. Oh, no. Let me go this way. So I was good on that, got a bike back for the meal of Chipotle. Now again, the bike is broken, um, but I think with some work, I can get it running again, but I wasn't really using it for that. I was using it as a parts bike, so I can uh, swap things out if things break on this bike or the RFZ. You guys saw in one of my previous videos, I replaced the rim on the 007 with the R, R I mean, I replaced the rim on the RFZ with the 007 rim because the RFZ rim was bent. So now that's good to go. But I still think the 007 driver. Alright, well, as you guys can see, the audio on my mic just was not working. I think the internal microphone that I had hooked up for this GoPro just wasn't working. So, instead, we're going to keep the video going. Uh, just know that I was talking to you guys doing the Q&A. Uh, it's just, I don't know, the audio got messed up. Which is fine, because now I can actually do the Q&A reading off my phone, the questions. So, I can address who it came from and stuff like that. So, starting off with Ryab Lee. You asked what carb is best for the RFZ. Now, I can't tell you the best carburetor for the RFZ, but the one that I've bought on every single bike is called Carb Hub VM 22-26mm carburetor from Makuni Intake Pipe Pit Dirt Bike 110-125-140 cc. So, uh, I will leave a link to this down in the description below, as you guys saw from the screenshot. Uh, the, the bike, or the carburetor is only 35 Plus shipping I think shipping's free so it's only like $36 for this carburetor and every single time I slapped it on the stock carburetors that came on these Chinese bikes it worked instantly good uh, the bike performance was a lot better it wasn't bogging as much so like I said this is a must change for any Chinese bike that you guys get get this carburetor it's pretty cheap I mean $36 for a carburetor is not bad at all so next question from Andre Dan he said can I ask only why so you buy so many of them? Uh, what is the reason? I think you're trying to say, why do I buy so many Chinese dirt bikes? Well, first off, I'm a beginner rider. I, I don't have $6,000 to spend on an actual dirt bike. I'm new to dirt biking, and I don't want to start off with something that has so much power and that's so expensive that I'm dropping it and breaking it and just destroying the value of the bike. So that's one of the reasons. Another reason is these bikes are very cheap. They're I'm going to learn a lot on these bikes, whether it's maintenance, whether it's learning how to ride, right and wrongs, um, and also the parts on the bike. So uh, it's just a learner's bike. It's for people that are new to dirt biking, that want to learn, that don't want to spend that extra money. And also the channel's kind of based around Chinese bikes. So we're starting to like teach people about these Chinese bikes. So all the beginner riders out there that are buying these, we have this channel so that way you guys can actually learn tips and tricks and what you, what you should and shouldn't do with these Chinese bikes. Eventually we will get into real bigger bikes but for now uh, we're just doing Chinese bike covers and stuff like that.
Next question is from Cali Shark 94 What's your main job? I actually currently am unemployed because of could I do uh, YouTube on the side. So on top of that, I also I used to be an IT uh, administrative assistant, so I was doing IT work. Um, currently going to school while doing YouTube since my job let me go for cybersecurity. So that's eventually that's the goal that I want to get into. Um, I want to do that full time and then YouTube on the side as well. Reese Ferguson asks, How do the bikes perform off road? Um, I'm not necessarily sure how these bikes perform at a track um, completely off-road. I take it to like the boonies of where I live where it's just hills and stuff and some, somewhat off-road but it's not hardcore off-road so for hardcore off-road I have a feeling the bikes will not perform good at all. They're gonna fall apart very quick very easy because even taking it off-road now the bikes somewhat break down a little bit. Um, I start to notice more problems with the bikes the more off-road I take it. So for street riding like this or anything like that where it's kind of a little bit smoother and calmer, I've noticed the bike performs at its best off-road, completely off-road. It's probably gonna break a lot faster. Jero Campo Verde, I don't know if I said your name right, but you said do a giveaway with the black one. Guys, if I had 200,000 subscribers on this channel, um, but by the end of let's say August, by the end of summer, August 2020, if I can hit 200,000 subscribers, which I know you guys can do because we're getting a lot of new viewers, I will give the black bike away. The only problem with giving it away is I don't know if the bike runs to 100%, so is it even worth it? If anything, I'll, I'll end up fixing the bike up so it's rideable, and then at that point, it's kind of giving away a used bike that was abused before, so I don't know if I want to do it, but if you guys really want, again, 200,000 subscribers by August, I got you guys. The shipping is going to be expensive, but I'll cover it for you. Bracey Richardson said, would you recommend a certain website to buy a RFZ? I've been using um, Killer Motorsports. They do suck. Um, they charge, they, they mark the price of the bike at like $700, which is a lot cheaper, but they, they pay 200 or charge 200 for shipping. So it comes out to like 900 to a thousand dollars and they're always missing parts. It doesn't come with a warranty or anything like that. You got to pay extra for that stuff. They're, it, sometimes it's slow, their customer service, they don't reply. If you're willing to buy a bike, they'll be replying all the time. But the second you buy the bike, they just stop caring because they got your money already. So I suggest you can actually find these bikes on Amazon and Amazon has free shipping. Yes, it's not dollars but you got to remember on these other websites they're charging you all these other fees that equal out to about the same price as Amazon and I believe Amazon has a warranty that covers the bike so I would go with Amazon that's probably the best bet and also with Amazon we, we all know how reliable Amazon is. Jesus Carrillo asked for the RFC what new carb are you getting for it because I had the same problem with the Makuni carb revving too high. Again, like I said, it's the same carburetor that I got for every bike. Um, go with the 26 millimeter. I think my roommate or my friend that had the bike before me, he got a much bigger carburetor. And I don't know if that carburetor was too big for the bike. So the jets that were inside of that carburetor were just, it was just too much for the bike to handle. So it ended up breaking down. Um, but I would go with the VM 22, 26 millimeter carburetor. Christian Rose, Rose, Rosario said, "Dude, dirt bike vids are awesome. Keep it like that. I wish you had. I wish you the best of the world. I wish some someday, someday I can get enough money and I'll be able to get the Peace Moto 125cc. Thanks for, to the videos. You get me in love with the Peace Moto. I have been working really hard and saving money to finally buy it. Love your channel. Yo, I, I, I mark this question because I really do appreciate someone like you, Christian. Thank you, man, for showing the love and support on the channel and in the comments." Save up your money, man. I believe you can get it. Uh, once you get it, again, you can do monthly payments. So if you get a job, a part-time job, you can pay for it monthly. Um, it just depends. So thank you, man. I appreciate that. Martin said, hey, I was thinking about getting one of three bikes that you own. In your opinion, which one is best for you? I think the Tao Tao has the, the kick that you want for wheelies. Uh, it's just a little bit. It's also taller. So if you're a taller person, the Tao Tao is pretty good. It just doesn't feel as stable as like the Apollo bikes. So the Apollo bikes feel a lot more stable a lot more grounded so I would suggest getting an Apollo or something like that um, it just depends on your height and weight and everything like that as well I'm sure your neighbors love you yes actually my neighbors hate me they hate me the cops get called on me if I ride in my neighborhood a lot so I try not to do it um, but yeah they, they probably hate me having four dirt bikes just revving out in the front yard all the time it, it does and one of my friends actually did a wheelie and crashed into the neighbor's mailbox had to fix it so they they don't they're not too happy of me
Now we only got a few more questions, so if you guys do have more and you want more Q and A's, um, we'll probably do another Q and A. Just give this video a thumbs up. If we can break like 150 likes on this video, we will do another Q and A. I, I know you guys will kill 150 likes. I've seen 100, like 400 once before. So thank you guys for that. Give this video a thumbs up. But moving on, Nick Wright 852 said, although I commend you for wanting to learn and do, oh boy, do you got a lot to learn. But keep it up, man. Be safe. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. I do have a lot to learn. I know a lot of people that have experienced writing probably cringe over these videos but guess what it, it's a learning experience i'm new to it and i'm having fun doing it so i appreciate you for uh being respectful for it thank you man now one of the last questions from grady walmack said how would you suggest someone get into bikes but make a youtube channel as well like what advice would you give someone new me and my little brother are thinking about making a channel we have a uh, predator 90 and we just rebuilt and I'm thinking about getting a small manual pit bike for myself as well as to teach my brother manual on it. Let me know. Thanks. What's up? Good vids. New sub. Yo, I appreciate the subscription, man. I appreciate you for showing support on the channel. And my tips and advice, bro, just get into it, man. I mean, recording videos, that's the hardest part, but that's what it takes to be a YouTuber. And if you can't come up with creative ideas to come up with new videos, then YouTube isn't for you. I know everyone wants to do it, but if you can't come up with the ideas and stuff, it's not for you. So I suggest just just getting a bike again these bikes are cheap and they're very good to learn on you and your brother will learn on these bikes extremely quick um and you can do videos of about it you could do videos about the learning process you could do videos of how to rebuild things and stuff like that so keep up the work man appreciate you guys all for coming to the channel i really do appreciate that more than anything the likes are amazing i i love seeing the videos with 400 likes on them that have under 10,000 views like that to me is insane and i i will stress it every video because i do appreciate that a lot so guys thank you for all the love all the support if you want another q a give this video a thumbs up if we break 150 likes we will do another one and i'll announce what video will have the q a for the comments so we we get these questions off of the comment section so one of these days if we do another q a in one of the videos i'll be like yo we're doing a q a next video comment any questions you guys have and you'll be featured in a video but guys stay safe out there and i'll see you in the next one peace